Welcome to Rome, everybody. You walk out of the metro and bam! Boom, right there. It is so crowded. When in Rome, you just eat. <laughs> Grazie. From what I've read from reviews, this is the best place in Rome to come if you want carbonara. <laughs> We are extremely excited to be here with our friends today off of the cruise ship. We've made it here to the Colosseum. This was one of the places we had planned to visit with Rissa's grandparents until we got sick. But we're here now ready to dive into some great history with this amazing first stop here at the Colosseum. We're planning on hitting some of the top sites to see here in Rome and of course taste our way through some amazing food. What do you think? It's incredible. It's huge. Rome is already blowing us away, seriously. After leaving the Colosseum and the Roman Forum, we're walking to the Treve Fountain. But you guys, this walk is so incredible. Like you turn to one side and you have incredibly old basilicas and churches and just all of these ruins and structures that they preserved. And then you turn to the other one and there's like this incredibly huge building and statues with all these beautiful steps and it's just like everywhere. Everywhere you're walking and looking is so historical and just so picturesque. Shout out to Olafly for providing us with internet connection while we're here in Rome. Olafly is an eSIM seller company with a market presence in over 100 countries with unlimited data in more than 45 of those destinations. It's simple to set up and provides 4G connection around the world. So how does Olafly International eSIM work? Well, first, check that your smartphone connects to an eSIM. Second, you're gonna buy your eSIM card to travel. And then lastly, install the QR code and configure it. You can either choose to activate it right then and there, or you can wait and activate it when you land in your country of choice. Because of Olafly, you won't have to lose time standing in line waiting to buy an eSIM card. And it also saves you money because you won't get home and see your phone bill and freak out because you've been using roaming while you've been traveling. They have almost five stars on Trustpilot and 24 seven support in case you have any issues while you're traveling or you're setting it up. If you wanna experience Olafly for yourself and experience great internet connection around the world, use our coupon code rstory to tell to get 5% discount on more than 130 countries. The Treve Fountain should be somewhere right here. Definitely not alone. We actually just saw someone jump in and run and then off. Run, and then the police were like chasing right after him. So people were cheering, which I, of course, we don't really think that it's great that someone does that, but it's almost it's kind of comical, see. right? But definitely a really crowded, extremely beautiful place to be. But yes, you would think that this was like the middle of tourist season, although maybe it is because it's only like 75 degrees, it's beautiful, it's sunny. Oh bit of shopping and not your shopping for souvenirs but shopping for food we've definitely gained an appetite because we've been walking a lot we are located near the Treve Fountain still so I'm sure everything here is overpriced maybe a bit touristy or a lot touristy but we're hoping it tastes good because when in Rome you just eat first up ham sandwich it, this isn't focaccia but it's a bread and it looks good 
the meat in here, I think it's just ham. It's really salty and it actually pairs really well with that bread. This is a very simple sandwich. There's no cheese in here, so it's just bread, but a very buttery bread, and it's really nice. Salty, buttery, savory. I got a Caprese one, which does look really good. You can see they probably use like a blue corn for the bread. I'm guessing this bread is kind of like a pizza crust, like similar ingredients, because you can see on the bottom, it kind of looks like the bottom of the pizza, so I'm excited. Ooh, they melted it. Both of the sandwiches are warm, and this just looks really nice. Again, salty, but I'm kind of digging it. It's not too overpowering. It's really nice. We did get a cannoli. Kind of fun. It's got pistachio and chocolate on this side, and then your ricotta with the orange slice here. So, looks really good. It's really nice. It reminds us back to our time in Sicily. We've been hoping to find a good cannoli here, and this at least hits that spot. Might not be as good. I wouldn't say it's as good, but it's hitting the spot. This is again, another Sicilian specialty. They love pistachio everything. It's been like stuffed in the middle, so hopefully there's enough to go around inside. Mm. Croissant itself, really nice. You can see all of those layers. However, the pistachio, at least the bite that I got, kind of tasted just like white chocolate. Not as good. Very nice croissant though. We just left the Pantheon, an incredible structure, and we're on our way to find some food. We're hoping the place that we found is not too busy because they don't accept reservations, but there's a lot of other food in that area, so even if it is, we'll hopefully find some good choices, and then, of course, some gelato. So seven and a half minutes later, okay, like 10 minutes later, we're at the front of the line now, so they are pushing people through quite a bit. So that's a good sign, and hopefully we can get some good food options. Right there, and here. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> grazie. You guys, from what I read from reviews, this is the best place in Rome to come if you want carbonara, and it looks so good. <laughs> How was it? It's amazing. She said it's amazing. Here we go. I got the cured pork cheek, which is a common staple ingredient in carbonara. And we've got the cheese sprinkled on top. Mm. Wow. That pork cheek is crunchy. This whole dish is salty, cheesy, so savory. We had dive. Went to heaven. I died and went to Rome. Well, that was by far the best meal that we've had on this trip so far, including the food on the boat. It was really fun that our last place in Italy happened to have the best food. We're leaving very content with that meal. I ended up not getting the carbonara like the other three, and I got this very well done artichoke heart that was in sunflower oil with salt. We've tried to cook artichoke a few times, like the whole heart, and it's never turned out. Okay, it's good, it's edible but it was not like that. So we're now on our way to go get some gelato at a place called Oteleg, or gelato spelled backwards. This was also something that was recommended to us. So we're looking forward to having our last gelato here in Italy. I walked away with double salted caramel and then a Roman hazelnut. And the fun thing is, is they also do like this cream on top. So it's really good. I've already tried it and it's delicious. But what's even more delicious is what Tanner got. And that is our typical, we always get this every time we go to get gelato. This is lemon and I've never had lemon quite like this. It is very, very tart, super strong in flavor. It's really, really good. Can't really go wrong. I love both flavors. This is melting, so I'm gonna dive in. What a pleasant noise. We've made it back to the train station now. It's been a fun-filled day in Rome. 
We love Italy and it's been great to share some memories with our friends, having amazing food to end out the day, and seeing some iconic landmarks. Of course we wish we could have seen more of the city, but that's just the amount of time that we had from our cruise to be out here today. Who knows, maybe we'll come back to Rome for another time. Thanks again for watching everyone. If you haven't already, go and hit that like button and leave in the comments your favorite things that you've done, seen, or eaten in Rome. We'll see you on the next video. Some souvenirs. Some socks. <laughs> the best for last. A shirt, <laughs> how cute. And some shorts. <laughs> nice.